I just wanted to make a, a quick update on the uh, the video where I was doing the uh, AC and uh, actually Eric O had commented that before condemning the AC he would check uh, what do you call it the uh, the valve and everything the restrictor valve or the orifice valve tube or whatever um, I would have done that so anyways what ended up happening is uh, I just had it evacuated you can actually buy all equipment you need online you could go through Amazon get uh, everything you need to work on everything AC um, you can buy evacuate evacuation pumps you can buy the tanks you can buy pretty much everything you need to do all the own service or you can just take your car to uh, to a mechanic to have them evacuate it however much they charge you look around uh, the other thing that people were talking about so this is just the stuff I use those o-rings you get all this from the all your local auto parts stores um, somebody was asking about the clutch though this is like the sandin actually this is a Denso but uh, I guess like the the original like the sandin is what they call them they have pistons inside here and it doesn't use a clutch it, it, it uses a plate that flexes and I'll leave in a link in the description to uh, how it works but yeah the cut the clutch though if you notice like on a clutch system it, the wires go to the front right here and you have a coil that activates the clutch well this doesn't work like that inside here you have this plate that that rotates like that anyways um, so it was the compressor itself uh, all you really need though in order to let's say you have a leak or let's see this thing started leaking or whatever have you uh, all you really need is the stuff that I, I show you you don't even really need this you can buy this some o-rings like this um, this is the receiver dryer that I got and uh, the location for this thing it's actually I guess you wouldn't call the receiver dryer it just comes with this right here it's just a desiccant filter and this actually there's a um there's a cap that goes on the actual condenser so you got to kind of remove the condenser take this out has an o-ring in it pull this out this is a 14 millimeter hex by the way and then pull this out now putting a new one in was kind of a pain in the butt but I, I took the actual condenser out flipped it around and then I went like this put it down in there while I was tapping the condenser anyways that's what you get though some cars it's the the metal and everything that's some cars it's a part of the uh, condenser and this is what you get so that's came with that I did not uh, I did not replace the um, the valve the restrictor valve or whatever it's called and uh, you can look whatever compressor you're using you can um, check with your local auto parts store and they'll tell you what uh, refrigerant you have like PAG 46 PAG 100 PAG 150 and this is a low viscosity low, lower number is lower viscosity and you just ask them what your compressor uses for your car and they'll be able to tell you and this is eight fluid ounces and for this compressor it takes about uh, six six to seven ounces of the oil but you know I mean even when I'm doing my research on, on stuff like this it's uh, it's kinda confusing because there's really there's really not a lot of information there is out there because they really don't want people doing their own AC stuff but there's nothing wrong with it as long as you take this to someone to have it evacuated or if you have a leak you know and it's already leaked out then you know you can find the leak anyways so uh as far as measuring the oil though just use like a, a container like this take the old compressor out and right here this right here this is the fill tube now the compressor itself actually sits like this so this is on the top this is the fill tube and this is a I think maybe a 10 millimeter or something like that take this off turn it upside down and let it sit in there while you rotate this turn it left turn it right turn it left and right try to get as much oil you can out of here this is from the new ones and try to get it in here and then measure it and after I did all that it came out to about four ounces or something that I took out of here and then uh, so you want to make sure you take most of the oil out of here to measure it and it actually tells you right here uh, ND oil H 
high side uh, that doesn't tell you the amount of oil to use in this but it does tell you if you contact your uh, local auto parts store they should tell you how much oil it uses or whatever anyways so uh take all the oil you can out of here and measure it and then basically if you didn't have much of a leak uh put the same amount back in now if you're not familiar with doing this stuff i would probably just leave it to a professional to do it but if you are doing it yourself it is possible to do it yourself but it is really tricky and one of the most tricky parts though with ac is really diagnosing to see what the actual problem is because it could be like a lot of different problems when it comes to the ac that's i mean if you if you're not a real real do it yourself or somebody that really does every single thing yourself like a lot of people out there are see this pops off by itself right here if you're not like a real do-it-yourselfer I wouldn't mess with AC at all you better be willing to spend hours and and money just to save maybe half you know what I mean but I'll give you an example probably how much we saved um, the compressor is about like it was probably 179 or something like that for a rebuilt compressor a new one was gonna be about 399 plus taxes probably plus shipping and everything else so um, that's the first thing and like I said the first thing about diagnosis the hardest part about working on is pretty much diagnosis and then doing everything properly but I knew it was the compressor because I have it verified several several different people I have a lot of people in my family that are mechanics and stuff and they have shops with all the necessary equipment I just take it to them make sure verify that it is the problem I tell them what I think the problem is and then they verify to, to show me that it is and then I show you guys that it is the problem that way I know but I you can tell the one when I remove the old when I remove the old compressor when I go like this when I turn it in the direction that it, it normally travels which is uh it's like this so it turns this way when I turn this one like this you hear nothing inside in this one it's not pumping anything it's not working but with the new one, when you pump it, you can hear it pumping, you can hear it compressing, you can hear it doing its job. So for sure, um, the compressor in this case was the problem. We knew we didn't have a leak because we had good pressure. We knew we didn't overcharge or undercharge or anything like that because nobody had worked on the system. So we, we, we knew our uh, diagnosis was good. But um, So yeah, all you really need is uh, you can buy uh, the cans like this. And uh, you can buy the fitting that attaches to the actual AC, AC uh, gauges. So I'm just kind of showing you, giving you an idea of if you really want to work on your AC, I mean, you can do it. It's a little bit complicated. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, you're going to have to spend some money anyways taking it to a shop to have them evacuate the system if it hasn't been evacuated. And you better be good at diagnosing. So this, this is probably about 40 bucks. You use that, you hook it to the high side, low side, then the yellow side, you hook it to the... Uh, <clears throat> You hook it to the vacuum pump right here, which you get this vacuum pump. Okay, you get a vacuum pump for, I don't know how much it costs, one something. So, specifically for refrigerant. This is item number, uh, let me see. And this thing has worked, I've used it several times. Item 98076. So that's just Harbor Freight uh, vacuum pump. Anytime you open up the system, you want to you wanna vacuum out for about 45 minutes. I vacuum out for about an hour. So anyways, had this, had the um, refrigerant recovered. First and for, well, first of all, you got a diagnosed problem. So I assumed it was this. I tested electrical. I tested the pressure. I hooked up the gauges. You guys saw that. So then I took it to a family member of mine, had him verify, had them uh, take out, recover it the refrigerant so you're not uh letting the the refrigerant into the atmosphere and then after that put the you could put some new o-rings use these o-rings right here put the new o-rings use a little bit of this use a little bit of this oil on the o-ring and uh take out the condenser change out the the dryer and if you want at this time would be a good time to change out the uh the valve the orifice tube the the restrictor valve anything like that i did not change out the restrictor valve in this case um but in your case you may want to do that make sure you have all the right equipment 
have the correct uh, refrigerant oil. You can have something like this. You could buy this separately that this attaches to the yellow hose to refill it. Um, or you could just have something like this. Actually, this might work better in your case. And uh, just use this to measure. You want to measure the can before and after to, to make sure that you're putting in the correct amount. So you'll look at your car and it says, for example, the car we was working on with this, it said uh, 99.99 uh, pounds to 1.21 pounds. So you're going to have to convert. So this is, uh, we weighed this to see how much it weighs and that's weight. Make sure we're putting in the correct weight amount. Just use something like this, like I was saying, weigh it before and after to make sure you're putting in the, the correct amount and make sure you're using ounces or whatever it tells you. Some of them says to use, you know, uh, they're in different measurements. Make sure you're measuring everything correctly. You just use something like this to measure the, uh, the oil. I think we put about six. Just get a tube. So take out the old compressor, flip it up, take out all the oil, get the new compressor, take out all the oil, measure that too and then put in the recommended amount into your new compressor after draining out all the because uh, sometimes they ship it with oil if it ships with oil then just use the oil the correct amount but for the one that we got it says remove the oil and then refill it with a, a recommended amount and I put a little bit of this just in case we had a leak and then so put the new compressor make sure you put the correct amount of oil in there make sure you change out the filter dryer uh, and then uh, put the uh, vacuum pump, hook the vacuum pump up to the unit, and then vacuum it for about 45 minutes to an hour. Make sure to check for any leaks, and then uh, and then fill it with the correct amount of refrigerant. Now, depending on what car you have, is will de de determine what kind of refrigerant you're going to use. Most cars nowadays are the R134A that you can just go to the store and just buy this stuff. You can actually buy the big containers and use the gauges, but you have to take into consideration it. So if you're using the gauges, those gauges are going to take up a little bit of the weight. So you can probably just use something like this just to get a good determination of how much you're putting into it. Anyways, so that's all you really need if you're going to work on your AC. You know, first thing first, you want to make sure it's diagnosed. You know, maybe you could take it to a shop and have them diagnose it and say, oh, they'll tell you, you, you need this and that and this and that. And then you could take it and have the stuff, uh, refrigerant recovered. And then you could do the work yourself, you know. Anyways, I don't recommend working on your AC if, if you're not a real do-it-yourselfer. I mean, if you don't even know how to change brakes, don't even attempt to be doing stuff like this just because it just takes too much time. There's too much involved. You got to invest too much, anyways. Might as well just take it somewhere to have it done uh, professionally. But um, you know, if you are doing stuff on your own, you can do it yourself. Uh, like I said, me, I, I have people that have, own shops. People are in my family that own shops and stuff, and they have access to all the equipment and everything else, professional equipment, recovery machines, and anyways. So that's all you really need, though, if you want to work on your. Uh, AC uh, completely remove it and uh, that's about it I mean uh, I just wanted to to uh, re-update because I, I remember Eric Erico from South Main Auto he said well I wouldn't condemn the compressor yet because I would check this and that and it's true you really do have to uh, check a lot of other things when you're doing AC work but I just wanted to verify this uh, I, I, th I was thinking about trying to rebuild it or actually taking it apart and seeing what failed inside of it. Probably the valves failed or something. But it doesn't sound like any of the bearings or anything went out. But, you know, probably the valves or something. I don't know if they have, like, reed valves in, inside of here or something. But uh, I was thinking about taking it apart and taking a look at it. But, um, anyways, so I just wanted to uh, update on that. And the AC is working fine. It's, you know, blowing super cold. So, uh... I know some, I, I didn't show a lot in, in the original AC video, so I just wanted to show that, yeah, this did fix the problem, and uh, I'll leave a link in the description to the type of compressor that is, 
and it shows you how it works. It's not like the regular clutch type. You can see there's no electrical going right here. It goes right here. This is a valve. And another thing that, like Eric O was saying, is he's saying these go out a lot. But the thing is, this this compressor probably has 165, 170 thousand miles on it. This this just this right here is about fifty, sixty dollars just for that part that goes into here, the electrical part. And changing this out, you still have to recover the system. You still have to do everything else. To me, it's better just to have a rebuilt one for for basically triple the price. You know, because you're gonna have to you're gonna have to recover the refrigerant. You're going to have to vacuum, you're going to have to refill, you're going to have to do all this stuff just to change out an electrical connection. And in this case, it wouldn't have worked anyways because that's not the problem. The compressor itself is just not. Anyways, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe.